Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Coach Jeff here with Asiyama Academy. And today, we're gonna talk about the importance of having a go-to move, all right? If this is your first time here, welcome. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos that comes out. And for all my subscribers, welcome back. It's good to see you guys again, all right? So we're gonna talk about having a go-to move, okay? In basketball, it's always good to have a go-to move, all right? So we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna get into it right after the intro. So I have a free shooting plan workout, all right? If you guys are interested, all you have to do is email me at asiyamaacademy at gmail.com. It's a good shooting workout, all right? It gives you the basics from how you can start close to the rim and work your way out, okay? And help you become a better shooter, all right? So I'll send it to you for free. All you got to do is email me at asiyamaacademy at gmail.com and I'll send it right over to you. There's no strings attached. There's no catch, nothing like that. Just send me an email. I got you. I'll send it right over to you, okay? It's a free shooting workout, all right? It's going to help you become a better shooter. Okay, so when it comes to the go-to move, right? When it comes to having a go-to move, everybody should have at least two to three, all right? When you're playing ball, right, it's very important to have at least two to three go-to moves, all right? Now, for those that don't know what a go-to move is, a go-to move is a move that allows you to score. It puts you in the best position to score the basketball, all right? It's a move that you're most comfortable with, okay? So when I say everybody should have a go-to move, I'm not saying that that's the only move that you should have, right? But what I'm saying is when you really need a bucket, when your team needs a bucket and you have the ball, right, and you know you're a scorer, Every player should have at least two to three go-to moves. Kobe Bryant is a player that said he only needs two moves to score. Two moves. He only has two moves, right? And those two moves sets him up for a basket, okay? He has that one dribble, right, pull up, one dribble, left, pull up, right? That's Kobe, all right? Now, for you, you got to figure out what's your go-to move, right? The first thing that you got to figure out is how do you play basketball? What's your game like? Do you come down at the block, right? Are you down here? Do you size up at the basket? Okay. If so, try to come up with two go-to moves, all right? Maybe your go-to move is, you know, you turn, reverse pivot, you jab, jab this way, you know, one dribble and you shoot it, right? Or you come here, you jab, you do a hard jab and you do a jump shot right maybe you come right here you catch the ball right you fake here and your go-to move is the one bounce and you spin and you go up right you should figure out what your go-to moves are okay if you're a guard maybe if you're a guard right carmelo used to do this a lot he has the ball right and he'll hezzy like he's gonna drive and he'll go up that's easily one of Melo's go-to moves right Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard does this thing where he's dribbling the ball, right? He sizes you up, and then he does this. He leans to the right, and then he shoots it, right? That's Damian Lillard's go-to move, okay? James Harden. James Harden will go like this. He'll play with the ball, right? He'll go like that. He'll put you to sleep, and then boom, boom. He goes by, and he drives it. Or what he'll do is his second go-to move is, right, he'll play with it, play with it right and then he'll do some sidestep like that and then he'll shoot it okay so again like i said these are moves that helps you get a bucket right so you got to figure out what your go-to moves are going to be so go-to move should be a move that you always do right i don't want you to think that you need to have four five six seven eight different moves it's fine to have moves but when it comes to you actually wanting to go get a bucket, 
you can perfect two or three moves and make it your go-to move. Anytime you need to score, you should be able to do that move. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys three go-to moves that you guys could choose from, okay? So I'm gonna give you three from the guard side and then three for the bigs, all right? Just to give you guys options. Now, just because I'm giving it to you, it doesn't mean you have to use all of them. You could just take one, right? Whatever you choose, make sure that you try to master that go-to move, all right? Go-to moves should increase your chances of getting a bucket every single time, okay? So I'll give you the first one. So the first one is the in and out crossover, right? If you find yourself in an ISO situation and it's you and the man, right, or you and the woman, you wanna do an in and out crossover. So an in and out crossover is here, boom, boom, right? So before you do that in and out crossover, it might be good for you to put him to sleep. Maybe you start by doing this, right? You start by doing this. Maybe you count in your head two, three seconds, right? You Maybe you came off a screen and it's you and a big man, right? And you see that, right? You came off the screen. Now you see nobody's in the paint. So I'm gonna put that big man to sleep, right? Here, here, boom, boom. I go right by, lay up, all right? So that's one go-to move that you guys could use, okay? The second go-to move, right? Second go-to move is a hezzy. So a hezzy is I'm here and I just do that, right? I got the ball and I'm hezzying, okay? Now the hezzy is a really smart go-to move because the hezzy could set you up in three different ways, okay? So the first hezzy, right, put him to sleep. First hezzy can make me go this way, all right? The second hezzy, second hezzy can make me cross over this way, right? That's the second hezzy. And the third hezzy is the mellow, right? So this. When you come to the park, right, give you a little picture. You come to the park, everybody knows your game because you always go to this park, right? So you could go to the park and somebody could know your go-to move. Right, they could call it out. Watch out for the hezzy, watch out for the hezzy, right? As long as you can set your move up the right way, even though they know it's coming, they still can't stop it. So even like I said, with that in and out crossover, right? If you come down the court and you just straight up do an in and out crossover, it might not be as effective. So you gotta put them to sleep first. You dribble it a couple times, right? Slow, and then boom, boom, fast, fast. Right, so same thing with the hezzy. Like I said, you got three different options, right? So if I come down the court and everybody's saying, watch out for the hezzy, I might keep doing the hezzy a couple times, right? And then if he falls asleep, I knock it down. So that's the next go-to move that you could do. The third go-to move that you guys could do is the pullback, all right? So we got three different ways that we could pull the ball back. Either you pull it back in front of you, like this, you do this motion, right? Or you go back, you go under your legs, like that. Or the last one is you go behind your back, right? So you can go behind your back like that, right? So if I have the ball, again, you wanna put him to sleep. You're gonna do a couple dribble moves, put him to sleep, right? You snatch it back and then you shoot it, okay? So you could do that too. So that's another crossover move that you guys could do. So like I said again, when you guys are doing these go-to moves, you wanna put your defender to sleep, all right? So you put him to sleep before you go into those go-to moves. Now, if you're down low, like I said, at the post, right? Here's one go-to move. If you're down low at the post, you catch it, maybe do a reverse pivot, right? One, then you bounce it, and you can spin, and then you go up. Right, so that's one move that you guys could do, okay? And again, like I said, if they know that spin move is coming, you could fake like you're not gonna do that spin move, right? So you come here, right? Maybe you, you pump fake like you're gonna shoot just to throw them off. Watch out for that spin, watch out for that spin, right? You fake here, maybe you fake here, right? You come, you, you square up your feet, pump fake, and now you do it fast, right? Or maybe you do a one dribble, another dribble, and then you spin, okay? These go-to moves, 
even though they know it's coming, if you find ways to be creative, they still can't stop it, all right? Now, another thing, as a big, your go-to move might be your pump fake, all right? Maybe you are a great shooter around the paint. Maybe when you're around the paint, you're really, really effective. So people know that you can shoot, right? So now you know, okay, I really need to get a bucket. Everybody knows I can shoot. You can come, catch the ball, somebody's on you, pump fake it. You give them a good pump fake, right? You put it just above your head. Once you do that, it's easier for them to jump, right? So you get the ball anywhere around the court, you pump fake, you make sure you put the ball above your head so that they could jump, and boom, you go right by for a layup, all right? So, like I said, you might be in the gym, everybody might be like, hey, watch out for him, he has a shot, he has a shot, watch out for the shot, right? You pump fake, and then you go and you lay it up, right? If everybody's saying, watch out for his pump fake, watch out for his pump fake, you could go like this. You come around, you pump fake, everybody thought you was gonna pump fake, you fake the drive, you pump fake again, right? Because they know you can shoot. And maybe that second time you pump fake, now they get up off their feet, right? So that's another thing you guys could do. And the last go-to move for a big could be a mini jump shot or like a hook shot, all right? So, you know, anywhere around the rim, maybe you have great touch, right? So just doing this, maybe you could do it with both hands, right? You come, right? Or you come here and you finish with the right. Maybe you could do it with both, right? So maybe that shot, that particular shot could be a go-to move of yours, all right? So like I said, if everybody knows that move is coming, you could, you could set it up to a point where you could find yourself in this area, the painted area, where you can use that shot, right? So you come, you get the ball in the post, right? You lean on them, get them off, you create some space, right? You jab. Maybe you do a regular pivot, right? Or you do a reverse pivot. You try to get them off you. You pump fake, right? You come here, two foot jump stop, and then you go up, right? Those are different things that you could do to set it up, all right? So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that these go-to moves gave you guys some value. Like I said, these are go-to moves that you guys could do, but you don't have to do them necessarily, right? If you like one of them, you could take them. Okay, um, if you wanna use all of them, by all means, there's no problem. I hope this gave you guys some value. If you guys enjoyed it, and it gave you guys some extra moves to your bag, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, all right? If you have any questions or any comments that you wanna make, please feel free to leave it down below, all right? And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos that comes out, all right? That's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and always remember, the lion mentality lives here.